So I again back and now I'd like to continue with the flooring and as you see on my previous screen I'm pretty far with the modeling so I just need to pick the mesh of my ground floor and by using floor generator I would like to share with you the link where you can find it for free download you can use it in the same sense which I'm showing you right now and by using floor generator you, you can uh, adjust pretty realistic geometry on your floor how I'm doing this with nice shaped plates and by combining the different settings you see on the screen and updating the preview you can see immediately what's changing and for doing this further you can adjust the favorite combination of your floor plates or uh, for, for example as you see you can uh, I just also the row offset of it, the scale, the numbers and the seats and the direction of the plates and once when you satisfied with the adjustment you can press create and update and that's it actually that way we will allow you to speed up drastically your workflow by creating floor floors uh, using different stones and textures or wood floors and so on so the next step is to compositing the material on our floor and for that reason I'm going to use a very really multi texture material and to each slot I'm gonna connect with a simple bitmap of a marble or limestone And again, now I'd like to show you a tricky way of making random texture on the floor by using varying material. So again, once when I have all my material slots filled out and of course to um, have nice randomly texture on it without tiling etc I need to adjust a little bit as you see in my preview the range of the texture you can just play a little bit until you have the settings on the texture in different sense of using same bitmap with different regions and after that you can connect it with simple VRA material for adjusting the reflection and the glossing as well. Connect it to the geometry and let's see what happens. The next major thing is to apply with the modificator UFV mapping and the crucial thing in adjusting this kind of texture is to use a modificator with the material by element which is called and here you can set up the number for random rendering on the texture and you see there is still gaps which we need to cover by increasing the numbers of ID counting and that's it actually we have nice realistic texture on our floor so the next step is to import people in our scene and I'm gonna use an uh, old school technique by having a simple plane with the size of a single person on which I would like to apply with the texture of a guy so let's go to material editor and a pick 
a lady in my case and I need also opacity map for cutting out what I don't need on my image and as you see once when you have the texture on the plane you just need to play a little bit with the UV map and the same I'm gonna do with all the guys which I need in my scene and remember by using this technique you need to have opacity map or you need to create a such one which will cut off the things you don't need to have around the person of your image so by applying your favor map you can control the wrapping on the texture in the object and by repeating the same I'm gonna do with all my guys in the scene by using this simple technique and once when I have all in I'm gonna spread around and you see by simple render you have feeling that this is a 3D object in my scene but how I said it's simple plain and by cheating this two dimensional technique I'm gonna have realistic images of people in my scene so I'm gonna isolate the floor because I'm gonna spread my people on the floor around and that you can do by using Solburn object painter for example if you would like to use some scripts for doing this or you can do the same with just object painter which is provided by 3d max inside so let's go to object paint and we need to select the objects which we will use for painting with and the surface where we would like to apply on of course so by picking and selecting one by one you can go after and you see by simple tests you can increase the spacing because we need to have it all around in some distance not stitched one by one and it's just so on our first test until we getting random and I think we have done with the settings and we can go further with the painting over and how I said you can use the object paint to provide in 3D Smax itself or by using object painter by Soulburn script they both work in a similar way and once when you have it inside on your flooring how you see in my screen you can go further by deleting some of them you don't need and adjusting them in high because now in this way you just gain a nice speed in the spraying the objects around but you need to adjust them also in the position because some of them and you see a uh, stitch inside the floor and you, need, you just need to pick it up and to bring in in the desirable direction so that's it